My guest today is Alex Kwachansky. Alex is a specialist in business fraud discovery, resolution, and prevention. He holds the accreditation of Diplomate in accordance with the American Board of Forensic Accounting. His work focuses on privately owned companies and their stakeholders. Alex has done a lot in both litigation and in teaching, and he has written a book or two books. How many books, Alex? Three. Three books. Three books. Three books. On, uh, about to be released in January. Your third one's going to be released in January? I'm going to release them all together as a package. Oh, okay. Well, I will post a link to it, and uh, and we can talk about your your books and your classes. And uh, you are also an avid vintage car enthusiast. He has uh, published numerous articles discussing the fraudulent aspect of car collecting. And Alex, you're a member of the Antique Automobile Club of America and the Checkered Flag 200 Club of the Peterson Automotive Museum, right? Yes. So what's yes. involved in the, uh, in the car business? I'm not talking about it from the point of buying a new car and driving it. Uh, buying old cars is like buying a painting or art or something else. However, your thing you're buying is a mechanical machine that is probably long out of date and long out of its useful life. So while it, you can make them very pretty, they may be ugly on, you know, down below. Uh, I, I refer to these articles as beauty is only paint deep. <laughs> so your work as a uh, forensic uh, specialist, as a fraud discovery specialist, comes into play in your car research as well. I mean, you're good at spotting fraud. I hope so, yes. I seem to, I seem to be able to spot it quite quickly. Uh, and I don't use uh, really accounting records to get to my answer. So what is forensic accounting? How does it work and what do you use in looking at, um, let's focus on business fraud. But in, in investigating business fraud, what, what do you do? The function of forensic accounting is, in my estimation and my experience, a mopping up operation. Accountants will use records in greater detail than they would in an audit or a financial statement presentation in order to attempt to find out either A, how the fraud was committed, or B, how much was taken. The problem with forensic accounting is, is, multi, is, is multiple, actually. The first problem is, and I've taught this to many, in many seminars to many CPAs, the first problem is that the accountants who are connect, committing these, these studies, in fact, have no business experience themselves. The ability to make a financial statement is the ability to fill, a, fill out a form according to the rules and regulations imposed. The act of running a business from what an accountant sees, and I have been on both sides of it, both as the outside accountant and as a CFO, mostly in companies with operational breakdowns such as bankruptcy. I learned quickly that what I knew as an accountant coming in to do the financial statement was nothing compared to what you actually learned on the inside and it will be the equivalent of looking in the windows of a store and saying you know exactly how the store operates. So that's the first problem with forensic accounting. Second of all, you are unable as a forensic accountant to discover fraud because it has to be found for you. I use what I call my, my own dynamic process as opposed to static, which is accounting. I work with the company as a living being and as a functioning being and apply various principles I've learned over the years from working with many different kinds of companies, how the company should be operating, within what parameter, parameters it should be operating, and I'm able to look at the current day's operations as opposed to what was recorded sometimes long ago. And the differences are, are significant. I look for differences in finance, the, uh, differences in buying and selling in manufacturing, whatever it is this company does, I look for what I call operational an anomalies. So forensic accounting really is there after the 
the act has been discovered and attempts to end it or attempts to tell you how much you lost, I try to get to it to stop it and help the company survive and hopefully, if it's a privately owned company, never reveal that this act happened. 